In the West Yorks town of Wakefield, a controversial move has enraged local businesses within a small area. In early 2012, the local council secretly sold an old abandoned pub to the supermarket chain Tesco, despite local businesses situated less than 100 metres away. The store opened its doors in May 2012 and hadn't informed the local community for up to five months prior to the opening. Until recently, Sandal News on Barnsley Road had been at the forefront of the area, serving local communities for more than 30 years. The small newspaper shop sells all kinds of products from groceries to food and drink and has a successful newspaper delivery service for the neighbourhood. The area, known locally as Busy Corner, is home to a number of businesses including a grocery store, a butcher's and a hair salon, all of which strongly oppose the new supermarket store. Mr Singh, who has owned Sandal News for the last four years, is outraged over the Tesco opening and worried about the future of his store. After speaking with him, it was clear that the Tesco store was having a huge effect on his business. He said that, The main concern for me is the potential for the business to collapse, leaving a number of my employees without a job. It's a common thing that's been happening a lot in recent years, where these big supermarket chains buy old pubs so that they don't have to get alcohol licensing, as the site already has it. It's a very sneaky operation which is ruining businesses such as my own to a point where they just cannot compete. Although it's hard to see what the future has in store for all the businesses in the small area, it's clear that change is about to happen to one of them, and with a new proposal for Tesco to sell the National Lottery, the future is very uncertain for Sandal News and other businesses across the UK in a similar situation.